is. So I advance mine, which is now with a lot more cohesion. These ones are fresh, which is good. Fresh grass here, very little. I deploy them in two lines, as you can see. As it was the usual formation to attack, because troops in the back of the two first lines wouldn't really matter in a clash. Now, Conan start, starts to move his crosses and his cavalry to here, more or less. He's going to try and take out my flanking brigade, but I thought he was actually trying to circle around it and try to catch my cavalry on the back, which would take a long time, but since he was retreating here, I thought that was what was going to happen. So it would be a bit against time to see which one could deploy first in a proper position. Anyway, my light infantry is arriving. My general is getting to his position. I actually forgot that. In Empire Total War, well, let's explain this the other way. In Empire Total War, your general is not the first unit you have to choose, so it's not always visible. Here it is, so if you want to launch a surprise attack, the general shouldn't be in the position where your attack is coming from. Because otherwise you will be visible. And your surprise effect will be lost. Anyway, I move my dragoons and Gracias a bit forward. But I'm bringing the remainder of my cavalry. While leaving a small gap for artillery to fire. But Conicis probably haven't spotted my artillery. I don't know if it was in range or not. Decided to charge me. So I missed the beginning of this charge, so my dragoons just received the charge gallantly, as they should, and it is proper. And then I ordered a counter charge with my Gracias, both my with four squadrons of my Gracias, which is good. So I counter charge these dragoons which were broken almost immediately because they were with very low cohesion and received the charge of armor clad cavalry and I ordered my other crosses to just charge on their flanks so chartered with 12 casualties and here I pulled my dragoons away but rear Mallow's penalty settled in and well he couldn't guess the rest so I ordered my two of my squadrons of Gracias to the ones that were here to counter charge at these Gracias, two squadrons and I sent two other squadrons of Gracias to charge on the, on the flanks which caused this unit to break almost immediately without casualties which is great and as they were trying to rally they got shattered because well rotting units die a lot Oof, so many casualties, ugly. Uh, but that's an engine limitation one has to take into account, which is impossible to circumvent. Anyway, here he charges his Gracias at my general. I thought he was going to charge at my artillery, so I immediately started to remove it. I order my Voltige of my Latte infantry to target her cavalry and to give extra support. I had to remove Sir, fire at will from this battalion. Even though this battalion had a unit of voltages in the front, they are in open order, so I could actually fire between their ranks, so to speak. Jesus, the Corossians haven't got a single hit. Yeah, it's very long distance. Now I try, they broke basically, without casualties. Just because. Ah, now my Voltigers are starting to fire, finally. So I lost two men in my Voltiger units. Skirmishers in a pulling total war work quite well, and in this time scale you can use them quite effectively in this engine. Ah, here is Conditus' advance on my flank, and I placed some... my Grenadiers, which are old guard units, basically, <laughs> to form a square and pour some fire, only they were very tired, so their fire didn't, wasn't really effective, you know, even at medium distance, which is, I think it's a bit too much, basically.
so now it hits and this was this caused the mass rot basically his cavalry but I couldn't order this this unit was it in the flag and I couldn't order it to turn and fight because although they are doing something of the sort because they have to keep in check these two units these two battalions of infantry which will begin exchanging fire yeah so basically you broke these guys with his gracias the old guard probably because they are steady and exhausted probably because they are not they lost the support of, in the flank they probably lost a bonus and they broke as well basically yeah shake and wavering steady Scavery is shaken, wavering, and my as he advanced, my old guard broke, shattered. Ugly sods. And then I had this other unit of old guard to just receive, take that shots and break them basically. And they were broken so far, and if you notice, the horses are still attacking, which is ridiculous. I mean, they are trying to rally, or in a moment they will be actually be broken. Yeah. Now I ordered my old guards to move forward, but since they were still attacking, these guys will also break, which is silly. Anyway, meanwhile I'm bringing all my squadrons of cavalry forward, and this old guard unit is coming forward to close the gap here to prevent his superiority in battalion here to matter a lot. And all these guys are exchanging fire and being su successful. Anyway, see, we were broken. <laughs> because these guys are still withdrawing, they actually broke them. Silly. It's silly. This engine is just stupid sometimes. But it was this was quite a funny point in the battle. Where my broken Grenadiers will are running away from this shattered cavalry, and Connets is because Connets because we are playing without mods and realize they were broken and thought I was like by units charging him, so he starts actually to pull out. So it actually worked out quite well. Ah, meanwhile, my light infantry is wrecking havoc among his fusiliers. I think I was explaining earlier about. Light infantry, sorry, I broke my. It's kind of hard to keep track of everything once battle is joined, even though it's a one to one scale. So I started to pull out this unit because it was too isolated for my taste. And I had my cannons here. But uh, my grenadiers, see, Conditis is still trying to deny my flank from a broken unit. They will come back though. <laughs> 